Okay, so right now we're heading to La Brasserie. This is the first time that I have been telling them that the purpose of my dining there. I'm still gonna be really honest about the food because that's what my blog represents. And I'll always state in my review if there was any, you know, complimentary food or if it was there for a grand opening or something like that. I'll let you know because I want to keep my reviews as uh, neutral as possible. So I am right now telling all of them that I am on a quest for, you know, the best routine on Davy. Alright, so we're standing outside of La Brasserie and this restaurant has been, it's just over a year old. It focuses on Franco-German kind of food and so I'm not going to say it's fine dining per se, it's more of a casual bistro but it's still, the price point is a little bit higher. It's going to be a bit more expensive than La Belle Patate. La Belle Patate was really casual, you know, they were serving everything in kind of to-go containers. It's going to be a different experience. Yeah, let's go check it out. Alright, so I'm just looking at their menu here and I see their truffled poutine. Looks like it's served more as like a side or more of as like an appetizer. When you see the word truffled and poutine, you know you're going to go in for something quite gourmet. And they put definitely their own flavor to it. This is going to be a treat. Alright, so looking at the menu and what am I going to order? No kidding. Okay, obviously we know we're going to order the poutine, so I'm excited. Oh, thank you. Okay, so poutines probably go best with beer, right? So all you beer drinkers out there, this is for you as well. I'm, I'm not even going to pretend that I'm an expert in beer because I'm not. And like, don't say anything, right? No, but they match it with your poutine, the right kind of beer, so try it out. Ooh. All right, they just served me the poutine. Okay, the first smell is definitely truffle oil. I can totally smell the truffle oil. Truffle is, you know, um, high quality, it's those expensive mushrooms that you normally see, right? And so this is truffle oil and there's some freshly cracked black pepper on top. So that's a nice little touch. Okay, so as you see here, the cheese is more melted than it was at La Belle Patate. La Belle Patate, you can see more of the cheese curds, whereas this one is cheese curds as well, but um, you can see it's kind of more melted and more, more stringy per se. Okay, this is gonna be messy, guys. You really do get a sense of the truffle. You can definitely feel the texture of it when you're chewing down on them. And they are more bigger chunks. The truffle is just really a nice touch. You can really taste it. You can, you know, it's the first thing you smell when they put it down. The fries are freshly cut in house, um, hand cut. Before at La Belta, I think they had more of a thinner consistency to their gravy. But um, the one here is a bit thicker. It's not um, as drenched either. The one at La Belta was more, more drenched with the gravy. It's really well done. You can definitely taste the freshly cracked black pepper that's used in it. It's really flavorful and it's nice and thick and reduced. It really balances well. It's not too salty. I think the one at Le Belle de Tat was a bit more saltier. Gravy here, really good. I don't think you can beat your foil. Again, the price points are different. With La Brasserie, we're going up more gourmet, and La Belle Patate is not as fine dining, not as gourmet. Gravy here, I like better. Cheese curds, there, were really fresh. They, the squeakiness isn't, it's, it's squeaky, but not as, not as squeaky as how they had it there. Come up close, come up closer. Come up closer, and this is what I'm talking about. That. See how it's melted like that? That's kind of not how it was um, when we were at La Belle Patate. It wasn't as uh, it had this the stringiness to it. I really have to eat this right now because I can't let this go to waste. Look at that. I look really classy doing this, don't I? Am I gonna eat it? Hell yeah. Last bite, still as truffly as the first bite. Doesn't get overpowered and stands out. Definitely tastes like you know it's deserving the name truffle poutine for sure.